Hello and welcome to another class of Baby and Girl Sciences. This is Abhishek with you. So today I'll be talking about microscopy concept. So you you have heard and you have learned about several microscopes like bright field, dark field, uh, interference microscope, atomic force microscope, electron microscopes. But do you know what are the basics of microscopes? So what is the resolution? So every microscope stands because of the resolution. So different microscopes are there due to their resolution. So you need to understand the basics of microscope before going to each and individual microscope is all together. So let's start with the basics of microscope concept that is the microscopic resolutions. So what is resolution? So microscopic resolution is the capability of the microscope to differentiate between two objects that are close together. That is called the resolution acquired by the microscope or the lens. So, a scientist, a German physicist, Abbey, just uh, devised an equation which strongly defines how a microscope works and what will be the conditions to make the microscope more efficient and the resolution much more greater. So, that is called Abbey's equation. Abbey equation. It says about small d is equal to 0.5 lambda by n sine theta. So this is the basis of microscope. Now, but d is the distance between two objects. distance between two objects or you can say two points now lambda is the wavelength of light which you are passing through the object or your specimen now n is the or cumulatively you can say n sine theta is the numerical aperture so the much more uh, lesser will be the d value the much more will be the uh, resolution of the microscope because d equals to distance between the two objects which are close to with us and the job of the microscope to just make the two points much more clear to our eyes. So that's why D has to be very, very smaller to enhance the resolution of the microscopes. So for that, what we have to do? So now lambda, lambda is the wavelength. So it has to be much more of a shorter wavelength. So the wavelength will be more and more shorter that's why when the base value of n sine theta much more higher, so you will automatically get a d value of much more lower value, which signifies the resolution. So lambda is very uh, easy to understand. So now we'll go for the n sine theta, which is a very, very crucial for a microscopic subject. Now if you break the n sine theta, well, n is the refractive index okay and theta is the half of the angle half angle of the light which pass through the specimen towards objective lens. So if you break the n sine theta, that is the lower uh, base of the Abbey's equation, 
where n is the refractive index and theta is the half of the angle of the light which pass through the specimen towards the objective lens. So I will describe each n and the theta separately so that your concept will be clear. So first I'll go for the n. Now n is I said that is refractive index. So when a light passes from one medium to another medium that time it was bent or bent towards the lower angle and it is called refraction or the refractive index. So suppose this is a prism, okay, this is a prism and one light, sorry, change the color. So this is the light so the light this red one is the light which is passing from one medium to another medium so what is the medium here the first medium is air as the light is passing through air and the second medium is glass the prism is made up of glass. So when a light passes through from a lower refractive index medium to higher refractive index medium that time the light rays will be bent at the interface. So this is the interface of the two medium where the light is bent and you see if you see the angle it is lower compared to the external angle through which it is entering. So first one is the, I will say it again, that the light when passes through air, that is the first medium to the second medium that is glass, that time the light rays will be bent at the interface of the two mediums and that is called refraction or refractive index. So from that you can understand that N is equal to refractive index which is for air, for air it is 1. So any sample which is passing the light through it in the air medium that has a maximum n of 1. Okay. So now you can in increase the refractive index if you use oil immersion. So through oil immersion, you can increase the value of refractive index and that's why we can increase the value of N that is 1.25. I'll go for the theta. So theta, I said half of the angle of the light which passes through the specimen towards the objective lens. So suppose this is the stage of a microscope, this is the stage or you can say here is a specimen and this is your specimen here and the light is passing from below, there is a source of light, okay and here your objective lens is there so this is the objective lens okay now the light rays will go like And this will be the angles. These angles are theta. That is half of the light of the half of the light which passes through the specimen towards the objective lens. So this theta, when it passes through the air, that is the angle will be 90 degree. So sine theta.
theta is equal to sine 90 degree which value is 1. So theta is equal to 90 degree. So sine theta is equal to sine 90 degree which values 1. So this is the now here is one trick is there the angle you are saying so if the angle is narrower narrower means the refraction after the light is passing through the specimen is much more narrower means the two points are not much spreaded okay so that's why the resolution will be lower if the lights are narrower in range which is getting to the objective lens and opposite is true if the light uh, broad areas and which the after passing through the specimen the light will be uh, in a broad area for the objective lens so i will draw a picture to make it clear So here you can see that the angles are much more wider and the two points will be separated much more efficiently if the refracted lights are much more in the wider area. So that is a crucial thing when you are considering the sine theta of the lens. So this is the basis of microscopy concept where you can get a maximum resolution of from the abyss equation into a bright field microscope that is d is equal to 0.5 and the wavelength of visible spectrum uh, light suppose there are several lights so you will get a blue light blue green light which has a much more lower wavelength okay so that will be 530 nm and it will be 1.25 if you are using oil immersion oil immersion so the maximum resolution you can get from here is 0.2 micrometer you can enhance or you can also consider the magnification if the objective lens and uh, the ocular lens what you are using suppose you are using 45x objective lens 45x objective lens with 10x ocular piece so your magnification will be 450x okay so likewise you can uh, divide or magnify an object that is a separate two of the points that is stick together through a microscope up to 450x if you are using a 10x ocular eyepiece with 45x objective similarly suppose you are using uh, 15x objective lens and uh, 10x ocular so your total magnification will be 100x so likewise you can get maximum of 1500x resolution in a light or bright field microscope resolution sorry okay apart from that you can increase the resolution by increasing the ocular piece or the objective lens but it will be a magnification of blur points because your image which you are getting uh, through the focus is already blurred so up, uh, from a certain point or above a certain limit you cannot increase the resolution of the microscope but you can magnify it as a blur point and when you are observing uh, in a specimen under the microscope the virtual image of the microscope forms just beyond the stage that is 25 centimeter away from the stage that is the virtual image of the specimen you can see that time and the distance is 25 centimeter away so this is also a very 
important information for your exam. So I hope this is clear. If you have any questions, please ask me and uh, give a big thumbs up to my video. And if you like my video, and if you like my channel, please subscribe and come again. I'll be updating different types of classes and clearing your concept day by day. So thank you very much.